brand new research that's come out and it's really important. Um, autism is a, is a brain that functions atypically. Brain cells communication differences affect those with autism. The problems are with the connection network between the brain cells within the brain. For example, weak connections to amygdala in the brain, which I'll show you in a minute, affects ASD's ability to distinguish facial expressions and then tie them to the context of what a person might be. Actually, in an autistic brain, this cerebral cortex, this cerebrum, is actually has more connections and is stronger and more developed, the outside. So that's why you can invent things, you can have strong memory, you have strong focus, you um, are really an expert. What has happened is that connections internal of the brain from the cerebrum to the different parts of the brain are much weaker and undeveloped than typical people. So the cerebrum on all the pieces work, but in function in real time, the connections aren't working as strong. And it's, we just, two months ago or so, they came out with that in the research. Well, in an autistic person, not only amygdala, but other, other parts of the brain, frontal lobe and others, are not connected as strongly and don't light up on functional MRIs as much as typical people. Now, those with more severe autism, some of these aren't, like the frontal lobe isn't functioning as strongly as other people, too. Um, if more Asperger folks, it's mostly the connections. But the amygdala is where our folks have the biggest problems. That's reading faces, predicting emotions, predicting how you're, you're going to affect someone emotionally. That's partly, we think, why they can't, you can't generalize from one situation with behavior to another because the memories of a previous situation wasn't stored in the right place to be retrieved in another situation.